Very interesting day because it's moving day. Well, not really moving day. Moving day is on the first, but I'm getting ready for the move. Um, So it's been a busy, crazy day because it's time to change and move on, right? Got a new phone, got the iPhone 12, shout out the iPhone. Um, so I'm definitely trying to see what's going on with the 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 filming quality on this one. Um, so this video, I just want to post today, man. I haven't posted in a long time. I am on a fitness journey. Been on this journey for a long time. Uh, if you didn't know, here's a picture of me back in 2016 uh, when I first started working at LA Fitness. Started doing sales, then sales PT, then PT, then eventually jumped out and started my own thing back in the gym, started my own thing back in other gyms. So this is what's going on. I am at the point where it's time to open my own space. So I'm continuously looking for a location. Um, got a job, got a corporate job. It is what it is. Learning a lot though. If you got a corporate job, learn from your corporate job and apply it to your business. I'm learning a lot from it. So I'm not too, you know, bummed out about working a corporate job, but um, so yeah, this is what's going on. I'm looking for a location to open up a facility so that I could do more videos, so that I can help more people get in shape, best shape of their lives pretty much. And I wanna get back to bodybuilding and training for myself. Um, today has been a little crazy because I have been trying to figure out uh, what's best for me and what's best for my family. And uh, recently just had a baby boy. Shout out to my son, Leo. He was born in February. Uh, he's amazing. And then on top of that, I have my kids and then I have my stepson. So total four kids. So it's been busy, man. Um, so I'm, the, the point of this video is just kind of like to get a gut check on what your goals are and what you want to do in life. Even though it's busy, even though things are going, you have to know exactly what you want to do and what your calling is. And I've been, you know, following a few people on social media that I kind of put them to the wayside for a little while because I felt like I was watching them so much that I was getting analysis paralysis. I think that's the name of it. Like I felt like um, I was trying to be like them and do what they were doing. And it was kind of taken away from my creativity and, and where I'm supposed to go in my life in the direction. Um, so I finally came to the conclusion and just was like, listen, it is what it is jump into the training and stop playing because the, the more I prolong it, the the more time is being wasted and life is gonna happen. You know, I think the last video I made, I was working at a plumbing company and now I'm working at a corporate job, you know, white collar job. So things have definitely changed. Um, so yeah, your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing and what makes you happy? Um, I so one of the guys I follow on social media, you know, has grown. I followed him since he started, and it's just a big inspiration for me, man. I met this dude a long time ago, I think 2015, and now I look at him to this day, and I'm like, damn, like this dude um, is really in a good a good spot. So um, I'm definitely like super like inspired and knowing like even though we going through rough stuff rough shit like stuff's going on keep pushing forward and following your dreams and doing what you want to do your purpose and um you know no matter what don't let anything get in your way like um i was having a conversation with somebody today about like 
you know, there's so many people in this world, like at your job or in the car next to you driving down the street that'll try and knock you out of your character. You know, some people could be hating on you at work. Um, some people could be, you know, plotting against you. And it's like your character is has to be strong. Like you have to be so strong to be able to handle it and not let it get to you and not, you know, react to it. Because most of the times, most of the time people are looking for a reaction out of you and they want to knock you out of your character. And it's a reflection of them. It's not even about you. Um, the four agreements, right? You know, not to take anything personal and don't let people get to you. Like, don't let nobody knock you out of your zone and knock you out of, like, your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing, no matter where you are in life. Um, but so as I sit here today, gathering my stuff together, getting ready to move, um, I just want to kind of jump on here and say, you know, I'm proud of you because no matter all the stuff you've been through, you're still here and you're still pushing. You know, people came and people are gone. You know, some people stayed, you know, things have changed, but you're still here um, and I'm proud of you. So with that being said, I'm gonna get back to moving. I gotta go train Brittany. Shout out to Brittany, by the way. I'm going to leave a few clips of her exercising and working out because she has been like consistently a whole year with me next month, uh, May. we we'll make a year. And she's been with me. She's been supporting Be Fit King. She has been supporting my brand. Um, and I just like really appreciate her because, you know, she rarely misses a day and she just she gets it in. So. I'm going to leave a few, few clips of her training, some old clips. Um, and then I'll, I'm still here, man. I'm going to post more videos and continue to grow my channel. And um, for whoever is supporting me and rocking with me, I appreciate you. And uh, if you haven't trained today, take your ass to the gym. All right. I'm out. Peace. Body on, body on, body on, body on.